Hi, my name is Marshall, and today we'll be learning how to install hard drives and SSDs into your x NAS. The model we're looking at today is the x NAS XN 5004T, QSAN's 4-bay model. Whenever you receive your NAS, all of the trays will already be unlocked. The enumeration order is 5, 1, 2, 3, and 4, which is how it will appear on your web UI. To remove a tray, simply press and pull. After you remove your tray, you will notice two green brackets on the sides. Remove the brackets. and insert the hard drive face up. Today we're using a Toshiba hard drive. Replace the brackets on the side. Once the hard drive is securely fastened, just simply reinsert the tray back into the NAS. To install an SSD in the 3.5 inch tray, remove the tray and remove the top bracket. You'll notice four holes on the tray where the SSD will be held. Insert the SSD sticker up and align the holes in the SSD with the holes in the tray and insert the screws. Now your SSD should be secure in the three and a half inch tray by four screws on the back. Remember that you cannot reinsert the bracket back onto the top of the tray. Once you're ready, reinsert the tray into the slot. If you would like to lock the tray for added security, our QSAN NAS comes with a key. Simply insert and turn clockwise. Now the tray is locked. This x NAS is a 4 plus 1 hybrid storage solution, which means in addition to the four standard bays it comes with, it also has an additional SSD slot that allows users to utilize software such as SSD caching and auto tuning without compromising storage space. Now, let's insert the SSD into the additional 2.5 inch SSD slot. To open the service door, you'll see a button on the side of your NAS. Use your QSAN key to push the button. And open your service door. You'll see where the additional SSD slot is, and also where you can easily upgrade your memory. To remove the SSD tray, simply press the button and pull. You'll notice some text on both sides of the SSD tray that says SSD with an arrow pointing straight up. This is the side that you want the sticker of your SSD to be facing up. You'll also notice four pins on the inside of the tray. These are the pins that go into the holes on the side of your SSD. Now let's insert the SSD. Once your SSD is securely in the tray, simply push the SSD tray back into the slot. Now replace the service door. You want to start by placing the service door in the front first and simply press to secure. Okay, now that you have everything installed inside your x NAS, now you can plug it in and press this button to power it on. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.